ones do I have? Cosine of alpha is given, so that one I've got. What else do I have? Sine of beta, that one's given, so I've got that. I have to find cosine of beta and sine of alpha. Suggestions for how to do that? What? Draw a triangle. Yeah, draw a triangle. Anytime you got to find something, draw a triangle. <laughs> how many triangles do I need to draw? I'm going to need two because i got two angles. I've got an angle alpha and I've got an angle beta. So here's one of my triangles. We're going to use this one for alpha. And here's my other triangle. I'm going to use it for beta. Now, for the alpha triangle, I am told that the cosine of alpha is 3 over 7. What does that mean in terms of the size of the triangle? My adjacent side is 3. My hypotenuse is 7. Yes? Everybody okay with that? I have to find this side, obviously, because I'm going to need the sine of alpha, so I'll need the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So let's mess with this triangle first. What do you want to call that side? X? Okay. So I have 3 squared plus x squared equals 7 squared. That gives me 9 plus x squared equals 49. So x squared equals 40. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 40. We're dealing with a triangle, so what do we say? Length is positive. So the side of the triangle is going to be the square root of 40. But let's ask this question. What is the sine of alpha? Well, based on the triangle, what's the base number? What's the number that I deal with? So that's the bottom. What's the top? Square root of 40. So this is going to be the square root of 40 over 7. Is that going to remain positive, or do I need to make it negative? And how do I know? Why? Yeah, here I'm told alpha is in quadrant four. The triangle will give me the number. The quadrant will tell me whether it's a positive or negative number. In quadrant four, my sign values are always negative. Everybody's still okay with the sign values negative in quadrant four? Okay, so now I have the sign of alpha. I'll be able to plug it in there. I'll now move on to the other triangle and deal with beta. What do I know about beta? The sine of beta is 4 fifths. So what does that mean in terms of size of my triangle? Anybody? Opposite is 4, hypotenuse is 5. So in order to find my cosine of beta, which is the thing that I'm still missing, I'll need to find the adjacent side. What do you want to call it? Not x. We already used x in this problem over here. So the person who said y was thinking ahead. Good move. So now I have y squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. This gives me y squared plus, sorry, plus 16 equals 25. y squared equals 9. So y equals plus or minus the square root of 9, which is 3. We're dealing with a triangle, so what do we say? Length is positive. So length is positive, that means y is the positive square root of 3. But what is the cosine of beta? Oh, 3, thank you. It says 3 in there. Yes, just 3. So what is the cosine of beta? Well, what does a triangle give me? What numbers does a triangle give me to put in there? 3 over 5. But I have to determine whether this should still be positive or negative based on beta is in quadrant 2. Cosine in quadrant 2 is negative. So this will need to be negative. So then I can actually plug all this in here. And I will get cosine of alpha was 3 over 7. So cosine of beta is negative 3 over 5. Minus the sine of alpha, where we go, negative square root of 40 over 7 times the sine of
the beta, which was 4 over 5. So there's the answer so far. I can simplify it. I have negative 9 over 35 plus, because this plus, this negative times that negative will be a positive, 4 times the square root of 40 over 35, which I can put together into a single fraction if I really, really wanted to. Yeah. Did you just left it as the four things? That way, yeah, I would have been okay with that too. Right. This way I know exactly how you got there, and whether you simplify it or not, I don't care. And web work won't care. 